Hey guys, welcome back to Fox Plays Final Fantasy XII, The Zodiac Age. Alright, so we're here in Giru Vagan. We're gonna just move on through. These enemies shouldn't be too difficult for us. And uh, we should level up pretty quick here, because we're getting a lot of experience from these guys. Man, these, those flying dudes are taking longer than the giant guys with the swords. Gate. Alright, yeah, we need to find a switch for these gates. Oh, can't get that loot. So we're just gonna follow the path that's available to us for now. Got some marble... Oh, these are called Vivians. It's another reskin of the Maraboros. Gives a lot of status ailments. Okay, so... Okay, it looks like we've hit a dead end here. Let's go back up. Something I suspect that happens in this, uh, in the remaster here is that enemies respawn a lot faster, I think. They seem to... Like, you can just walk back through a section you just walked through, and they are already there. Oh. No, that's a treasure. But the treasure looks cool here. Oh, there's a switch right here. I didn't even pass right by it. Touch device. Okay, turned off this gate right here. Let's look at our map, see how... Okay. Don't really know how big this place will be or how long it'll take to get through it. We've got two options here, another gate right... Oh, this is the second gate that we saw before. Still not open. Go back this way and down the other side. Some like tower mithril golem. That's awesome looking. Pretty high defense. Got another gate stone. Oh, this will open that second gate. Alright, so we wanna go we wanna get this treasure first. Let's go up here. Might just be this area, but yeah, I feel like when I played it on the PS2, those guys wouldn't have been there since I just beat them. Alright, here's... we just passed through where the second gate was that we found at the beginning. I love when they waste time, like, giving themselves status effects. Okay, you can be berserk, but you're just gonna die a lot faster now, because you're not actually attacking us. It's been stopped. Why don't you... I guess I don't have a gambit for that, so let's... First of all, let's use a, uh... Um, which one would it be? There we go. Kronos here on Bosch. Now attack. Come on. There we go. Let's set up a gambit. For Pinello. We're gonna switch this Stona one to uh, Don't know if we have an actual Alright, so we'll just use a Chronos tier. We got a we had an okay amount of them for that. 
Stona will be will, Stona will take care of what Stona is supposed to do, so we'll be okay on that. Oh, so we got some sort of weird pathway here. Go on to the next section. Let's look at our LP. I have a decent amount, so buy some licenses. We're basically getting to the point where we just are buying stuff to buy it because we have what we need for a good long while. Accessories will always be useful, though, just in case we want to use them at some point. Let's uh, also look at the great swords. Give him armor. Okay. He uses light armor, so let's see if we have any more that we can... Nope, we've got all the light armor. Let's give him some Technics. Oh, we got one more gun there. Now let's go over here. Work on his magic. Let's give him magic abilities. Just because we can, I guess. She has all the bows and the armor. So let's get some Technics in here. Give him the Zodiac Spear, the most powerful spear. Okay, we have 60 left. Let's, uh, sure, let's give him this black magic. Ash can get some more accessories. armor, get her prepared for all that. Okay, got rid of that. More, We have a lot more, but we're getting up into the super high uh, level ones, so they cost more, so it doesn't really, kind of evens out actually after a while. Alright, so we got a path there, but we also have a gate stone here. Not sure what. Gate Perelfin. Parn Gate. Okay, let's just touch it. Hopefully, that was a good thing to do. Perelthan Gate Stone. This is that stone that, or the gate that was way back up there. Let's 
Another gate that's closed. Let's go up this way now. <laughs> Looks to be a treasure chest here. There we go. Cool. Gambit's already coming in handy. Hopefully this will be the Tai Chi Gate Stone. Tai Chi, however you want to say it. And yeah, there we go. Perfect. Okay, so we'll open up this gate. Head back down toward that gate. Alright, so there we go. Penelope's got lots of... Oh, she, she's gone. Uh, let's use a remedy on her, I guess, would be a good idea. Or no, easier way. Let's, uh, party. Let's take out Balthier, bring in Ash. She'll, she'll do some healing. No? You're not gonna help? Okay. Bring Balthier back out. Item. Remedy on. What is. Okay. So let's use. Item. We want a. Gold needle. There we go. She has disease. Disease is a is a status effect that I don't remember being in earlier Final Fantasies, at least ones I've played, where basically when your HP drops, it becomes your max HP. So if she were to lose HP, she's never not at max, is what I'm saying. So she never actually heals herself. Let's uh see if we have an item for that. Cure. We need cure to remove disease. Any anything? You know what? We're just gonna we're just gonna let it be. Hopefully it goes away. And if she uh, if she if she dies, she'll come back without it, so we'll be okay anyway. I'm not super worried about it. She doesn't take a whole lot of damage, she's kind of in the background. Okay, we have another path here. On to the third area of Giru Vagan. Which might look a little different. Here we go. I can't shake the feeling we're somewhere we're not meant to be. Yeah, it's exciting. Exciting? You are not troubled by the unknown? Who can say what lies ahead? We may encounter the very creators of Nathasite. Yeah, I don't know what we'll find. I like it better that way. You're sounding more the Sky Pirate every day.
All right, yeah. So we're on a new section, new new looking area of Gear Vegan here, and score. We gotta save Crystal. We'll heal up Pinello. So we got, let's, I don't think, yeah, we don't have a complete map, so we just gotta kind of wander around until we find where we're going. Seems like going up might be a good idea. Oh, I guess we'll just go right back down. Okay, oh, there we go. Let's look around a little bit more in this area. See if we can find any more treasure. I tell you, there aren't any enemies, which... It's kind of strange. Okay, it's not that big, so let's just take this path out to the crystal. Oh, this this has boss battle written all over it. Oh, yep. If it's not, I'll be very... Yep, there it is. Okay. Not sure how prepared we are for this one. Okay, it shouldn't be too bad. Yeah, he's not doing a whole lot to us. We're taking him down. Oh. We're, yep, yeah, we'll take him down pretty quick here. I love being over leveled. See you later. Took down the tyrant. Yep, okay, you got me. Congrats. I want to skip this. Can't even pause during this. They need to see, tell you congratulations. Okay, cool, cool. Let's get this done with. I get it. Ugh, there we go. Alright, let's hit this waystone. See where it takes us. Looks like we're inside the crystal now, which is kind of awesome. I got a path there. Got a path there. And a gate Scorpio right there. Let's just take this one arbitrarily. Oh, we got a bomb. Not much of a threat. Um, they're called mom bombs. That's funny. And here's the switch. Scorpio gate stone. Convenient. Wait, what did it say? For my master's chosen and no other will I, l the way will I lay open. Okay, does that mean I need to be Ash? Uh, uh, party, let's just, let's switch out parties. Nope, don't want to be Pinello. Okay, I guess that didn't have any effect. Let's go check out that other path down at the original entrance.
Some enemies only giving us about 600 EXP. Okay, careful here. Yep, alright. <laughs> that wasn't good. Got a cloud staff. Uh, and I believe it is Penella that uses. Nope, she uses rods. Ash. Cloud staff. Looks slightly better. Excellent. Oh, here's another path. Okay, we're just gonna follow this. Try to figure out what that switch was talking about. All right, let's. All right, we're gonna try again. While well, here you may die again. There we go. Got it. All right. All right. Here's another waystone and a reefer. I've been doomed. Let's see, what item gets rid of doom? I mean, I'll, I'll just die and I can come back, so that's not a big deal, but... I think a remedy takes away doom. I'm not worried about it. Let's just move on. We're, we're moving pretty randomly here. I don't really have any idea which which way is correct or what. Holy Rod, so let's... Holy Rod, Batman. Let's switch out Pinello. I assume a Holy Rod is... Yes, it is. Alright, there you go. Let's take this path. I'm about to die, but I'll come right back. Party. Come on. Let me switch. There we go. Is this going to say the same thing? Oh, it, okay, so that one switched for us. Another Reaper. Don't doom me. Thank you. That's a different waste on them before, but let's just go this way. Like I said, we're moving randomly. I don't have any idea which way is smart and which way isn't. Waystone 5. So let's touch Waystone 5. I seem to be descending, because the first Waystone we went through was 7. Maybe that's what we're looking for. We might be looking for the, you know, Waystone 1. Set of Gaia gear? I don't know... Is Gaia Gear heavy? Gaia Gear is magical armor. Why would I? Yeah, okay, Gaia Gear. There we go. Uh, let's go down this way. Okay, we got some more mithril golems. We'll switch in a gate. If we're lucky enough, this gate will, or this switch will open this gate right here. So it's the Gate Ares Pisces Gate Stone. No big deal. We'll we'll go back and see if we can find that gate. Here's another waystone, waystone three. I'm gonna go with my theory that we want descending waystones. Because if so, we're doing pretty good. We skipped by four entirely. And cutscenes are always a good sign. I've never seen this much. 
much missed. Are you all right? I'm fine. Thank you. Is that Nethosite? I wonder. With that much Nethosite in one's grasp. You could destroy all of Ivelisse, if you wished it. Ooh, save point. Excellent. Waystone 1. There we go. I'm assuming we're teleporting to another boss battle right here. Unfortunately, that waste that save point was not a teleport teleportation save uh, save crystal. That have been convenient. Yep, here we go. I'll bet you a thousand dollars that. Yep, there it is. That looks like it could be another uh, a summon an Esper. It's got this weird thing coming off its back. Wait, why are we healing it? Are we any, are we doing elemental damage at all? Okay, he's doing ice damage. Let's uh switch out the party. We're gonna turn off gambits. Come on, stop targeting us. Alright, that's what I want. I want Van and Ash. Man, I really wish I could change the party leader without having to friggin' switch people out like that. Alright, there we go. We're not doing damage now. Now let's bring Fran in here. There we go. Alright, there's the right party. Okay, we should take him down pretty quick. Now that we're not healing him. There we go. Yeah, nice. Esper number three. Hazai the Whisper. Cool. Hey, Stega. Reverse. All right. I'm guessing that we're close to the end of this section. I don't know if there will be another. Oh wait, we were coming here because Sid was coming here. We might have to fight him again. By this path and no other, reach ye the round of the undying, walk of the unchosen. Okay, not sure what that means.
miss every one. Fear not, Princess of Dalmasca. We, Ocuria, have chosen you, and you alone. We see your heart desires power, and power most holy shall we grant. Seek you the sun crest, slumbering star. In tower on distant shore, it dreams. The mother of all Nephysite, the source of its unending power. The Dynast King, his fallow shards, coarse trinkets cut from sun crest's light. Such power exists? In times that our long passed away, we sought to save the Zivalis, and chose Wraithwall, the Dynast King. He took the sword, and cut the crest. Three shards he took from its gilt grasp, and so became the Dynast King. His words and deeds run through your veins. I was given it, the Sword of Kings. The treaty held with kings of old is but a memory, cold and still. With you, we now shall treat him here, to cut a run for history's flow. Now take this sword, this treaty blade, a curian seal, mark of your worth. Cut deep the crest, and seize your shards. Wield Dynast King's power. Destroy Vanar. But Vanar? Vanar's an Acurian, a being like you. Vanar is a heretic! <sighs> Where did they just come from? What's with these Akuria? What gives them the right to tell you what to do? Will you take revenge, as they ask? We could not see them, but we heard the Akuria speak. They may be gods, but we are the arbiters of our destiny. Your Highness, I am against this. The Empire must pay, but destruction... 
Um... Does anyone know what happened to Dr. Sid? Wasn't he saying he'd be here? He should have arrived by now. And I should have realized by now. He's not coming. He laid out the bait, and we bit. Remember what he said? He wanted Ash to get the stone. He wanted that all along. That's why he flaunted his nethersite, and reeled us in with his stories about Ghetto Vagan, all to bring Ash to the Alcuria. But wait, if we got a hold of the nethersite, wouldn't that be bad for the Empire? Maybe he wants to see what happens when foes with nethersite collide. That'd be just like Dr. Sid. I will search out the Sun Crist. History is built by our hands. That's his favorite line. He'd never stand by and watch the Acurious Stones shape things. So. He was talking to Venar all along. He wasn't mad at all then, was he? Restore Dalmasca's sovereignty and make our amends with Lady Ash. It's the only way to avert war. It is a war of necessity. Your Lady Ash herself is bent on it. She desires it above all else. She will not rest until her revenge is full wrought. I fear you misread her intent. She would sooner shun war than embrace it. You are young, Larsa. And you presume beyond your ken. Then let us look closer. Judge Gabranth. I would have you seek after the Lady Ash and judge whether she makes overtures of peace or war. Yours shall be the eyes of the Empire. And should I espy war, I am to put her to the sword. Is that your wish, Excellency? It will not come to that, I am sure. I have faith in her, faith in you both. On you, Gabranth, shall I wager all our fortunes. As you will. That so sweet a child could be your brother is hard to believe. Barsa is as he should be. What's that, Vanna? Ah, taken the bait already, have they? Splendid. The Ocuria have given the princess her treaty blade. The gods have chosen their scribe to write history as they deem fit. Yes, and she with fresh nethersite to aid her. Bah, to hell with the Acuria and their stones. What good? A power that cannot be harnessed. Bauble's best suited for study, no more. <sighs> we conquered two kingdoms that you might study these baubles. Oh, I am grateful for the sacrifice. Without it, manufactured nethersite would have eluded us. An unrivaled weapon, I warrant you. Tell me, Venar, have I not been an apt pupil? My counsel did but guide your able hand. Through power of man, the stones did you perfect. Yes. So much accomplished in six fleeting years. Man's fervor or all obstacles prevailing. Our lives are much too short. You undying might waste long centuries away, but we, I fear, cannot. Just so. Had we more time, we might have availed ourselves of more prudent measures. Your greatest work still lies before you. Not lightly will the Acuria allow you to wrest the reins of history from their grasp back into the hands of men. Indeed. What claim does Garen have on history's reins? Seated on throne immortal, rent from time. 
For your ascendance vein I offer prayer. May you attain all that which is your due. Attain it I shall. For too long have my deeds gone unrewarded. In tower on distant shore dreams the sun, Christ. Do these words mean aught to you? Didn't Rather say he was going to follow some other course? Maybe you found out something that can help. I'd rather stay out of that Sky Pirate's debt, thank you. What's wrong with Redis? I mean, if you can't trust your own kind, who can you trust? You're an expert on pirating now, are you? Well, alright guys, uh, we're gonna end the episode there. Uh, some pretty big stuff just happened. Um, introducing some, like, gods or whatever. Uh... Ocuria, as they're called, into the story. Um, so it looks like our next task is to go to wherever the Suncrist is and use that blade we just got to cut shards from it for ourselves. So uh, we'll do that in the next episode. Um, thanks for watching, guys. Bye.